Sacrum and coccyx. The sacrum and coccyx are at the base of the spine. The sacrum is a larger, triangular bone. The coccyx is the tailbone. The sacrum is formed by five fused vertebrae, S1 to S5, and connects to the hips, forming the posterior wall of the bony pelvis. The coccyx is composed of three to four fused vertebrae, located at the very end of the spine. Sacrum has the following features. The sacrum is a triangular bone, concave anteriorly and convex posteriorly. On the front, you can see transverse ridges, which are fusion lines. On the back, there's a rough ridge called the median sacral crest, formed from fused spinous processes. To the side of this ridge are the lateral sacral crests, from the transverse processes. Sacral canal, it is a hollow space that runs through the sacrum, a continuation of the vertebral canal. Which ends at the sacral hiatus? Sacral foramina, are bilateral openings for the passage of spinal nerves. Auricular surfaces, are lateral surfaces that articulate with the ilium, forming the sacroiliac joints. Sacral promontory, it is a noticeable ridge at the top front of the sacrum. The coccyx, or tailbone, is formed by three to five fused coccygeal vertebrae. It's a small, triangular bone located at the base of the spine, inferior to the sacrum. Coccyx has the following features. Base. The superior portion of the coccyx articulates with the sacrum through a facet on the first coccygeal vertebra. Apex. The inferior end of the coccyx, which is a distal rounded prominence. Surfaces. The coccyx has an anterior surface, a posterior surface, and two lateral surfaces. Transverse processes. The coccyx possesses rudimentary transverse processes, particularly noticeable on the first coccygeal vertebra. Coccygeal cornua. The first coccygeal vertebra also has two tubercles, the coccygeal cornua, which are vestiges of the superior articular facets. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next lecture.